So, that ends our flight <laughs> for today. Uh, well, we'll get a video out of this and show you about equipment failure and, and go from there. Have a great day. <laughs>
there's probably still some thermals out here. Yeah, let's crank the camera up a little bit there. Got about 27 miles an hour. About 150 feet off the ground. We're over here by the runway. About 4,900 RPMs. Running my little uh, wind wind sock down there. My wind direction has a strip of orange tape, about uh, six foot long, and it's uh, steadily sticking out, straight out. Courtesy of Mike. It's starting to get really green. We got a lot of rain, a lot of cold, frost, freezes. It's been uh, 26, 27. Had some light flurries. And uh, this morning it got down to 30. So uh, this, hopefully today is the last cold frost day. Uh, we've already passed Mother's Day. So normally when you get past Mother's Day or around Mother's Day is when it starts warming up, so, and normally here in Ohio what happens is it goes from cold to hot and humid, and we don't really have a spring, so we'll see this year what happens. Some of these cows have had some baby calves, see them running around down there in the field. I always get people on the uh, YouTube channel that will ask me questions probably one of the most common questions is where did you train uh, what kind of equipment do you use and uh, how do you like strikes so I fly a uh, fresh bee uh, breeze monster and a uh, do deck wing and all of that, and we're attached to a fly pod, right, which came out of Flight Junkie. And uh, so far, uh, you know, I've had some uh, issues with my uh, monster, and uh, I can't say it's any better or any worse than others that fly with different equipment. I see quite a bit of, of uh, YouTube videos that uh, show things happening, breaking. So uh, it's hard to find uh, really the, you know, the right answer for a lot of people because they want to know, you know, what is the best and, and uh, Boy, these uh, getting a lot of lift over here. A lot of these buzzards flying over here. We're about 423 feet. So I guess one of the things is, you know, the cost of parts when they do break. So you may want to think about it and the accessibility of those parts. So if they break, you want to get back in the air as quick as you can those parts. Flying the Dudek wing. Dudek is a, a major brand. It's a good wing. So it's a lot of other wings. Safety-wise, you want to fly you know, when the weather's uh, right conditions or early morning. Good night.
And speaking of issues, uh, just to add something happened to my exhaust, I just heard it, uh, something just happened. And I'm cut down on the power, and hopefully I can just glide on back into uh, the runway. It sounds like the exhaust disconnected. And we should be able to make it back with no problem. So as I'm talking about things that happen to things, uh, exhaust mufflers, silencers uh, seem to be an issue in a lot of uh, trikes, or not just trikes, but motors. So we're going to go ahead, set her down, and take a look at what's going on. Look, see what's going on. Oh, I see. Okay. We threw a an exhaust fitting here, and uh, I'll get the camera out and and show. I don't see any damage to the prop, so that's a uh, good news. Here it is. Hopefully, you can see. The fitting to the exhaust, the springs have come off, have broken. All right, I've got some of those fittings here. I'm not sure how I feel about working on it while I'm here. I've got plenty of time to work on it at home. And I got one flight in, so 